Hello students, there is this funny word called color fastness, color fast. If something is color fast, that means that when it gets wet, the colors will stay put. You're color fast if you stay put to your fabric or your paper. So I used a Sharpie marker on the left hand side and just a Crayola marker on the right hand side. Which one is color fast? If you guess Sharpie, you're right. Sometimes they even call a Sharpie a color fast marker because it won't wash off in the laundry and it's hard to wash off the table and your skin. But the Crayola marker is bleeding. And it's funny because we used a color fast marker for our art, hopefully. You didn't use the wrong one. But we're going to use bleeding tissue to add color to our art. So I wet a row on my paper and then I lay down some squares and then I use my brush to add more water on top. So it goes water, tissue, water. So it's like a water and tissue sandwich basically. Um, this is going to allow all of those beautiful vibrant colors from the tissue to bleed down into your paper and make a cool tie-dyed look. It'll look like someone dyed your um, picture, like they would dye some fabric or a cool t-shirt. You want to try and cover all the white, although there will be some interesting little cracks and designs and things you hadn't planned for. And that's what's so fun about this art is people will see it looks amazing and colorful and it'll catch their eye and when they look closer they will see your practice portraits underneath our drying racks have colors on them this year do you see all those red marks now all those yellow on this side there's pink shelves you can see if you look closely and blue so listen for which area of the drying racks you should put your art today